Hey, folks, it's time for the Mike North 5-Minute Half-Hour News brought to you by the wonderful, wonderful folks in Rosemont, Illinois, uh, Brad Stevens, Billy Anderson, my main man, one of my guys, Chris Stevens, all the guys at Rosemont, Sue Prather, love all of you. Hey, by the way, be the hit at the water cooler, be the hit at your business, be the hit at the local pub. You could say, hey, I know this, I know that. They go, how the hell do you know all that? You heard it on the Mike North 5-Minute uh, half hour news on north to north.com the mike north entertainment network uh mccarthy is his name newark was his game he was the police chief in newark he was a number two guy in new york city and uh i'll tell you what i'll tell you what he's already said he'll go to the academy okay gary mccarthy said he'll go to the academy so he can learn the police uh fundamentals that the Chicago police teach, and then he's going to wear a uniform afterwards. Until then, he'll wear a civilian thing. He won't fall into the Jody Weiss trap. Now, uh, some black aldermen playing the race card in 2011, especially since this town gets along so well, and so many people of so many different backgrounds have jobs with the city, both high positions, low position, and in between. But they're saying, hey, the police commissioner, why? The fire commissioner, white, 911, white. Somebody said, well, how about the Board of Education? And one of the black aldermen, it's not enough that he's black, but he's not in their building. Well, he ain't in our building. Hey, anybody who plays the race card in this town should be out. Any alderman that plays the race card should be out. Rahm Emanuel's going to hire the best people he can. Simply put, if you're black and every time a black doesn't get hired, you're going to scream, get the hell out. Because you know what? This administration will be fair. Like I said, we just brought a guy in who's who's black. He ain't here. He ain't here. He's here. He lives in Chicago now. Okay, it doesn't matter what bill. Now you're saying he wasn't in this building. What a moronic thing to say. What an embarrassing thing to say for an alderman. Okay, now I'm not even going to mention your names. There's too many of you. Also, Evanston, uh, the tilted kilt, they've banned it. They're not going to have a guy buys a building. Wants to get a license. The girls are scantily clad, uh, but they're all covered. In fact, they're not as revealing as, as most of the Hooters outfits. Yet, Evanston says it's not appropriate. What kind of country you live in? You've got a bar. It's in a college town, Northwestern. By the way, let me tell you what's not appropriate. That half your city is a danger zone. That half your city is a ghetto. Okay? That half your city, okay, doesn't have maybe police protection that the rest of the city should. That there's issues all the time at Evanston. That's what's not appropriate. Instead of worrying about taking businesses out of Evanston, bring them in, okay? Have more people being able to congregate, have more money coming in for the tax deal and everything else. But no, we don't want to see scantily clad women at Evanston. Have you ever watched the Northwestern kids in May and April, what they wear in June? Okay? You want to talk about scantily clad. Just, just ridiculous. Also, so this liberal radio talk show, so I'm not even going to mention her name. She goes, the pictures can be show, that are shown of, of bin Laden today may cause angst and, and problems in the, in the Middle East. Are you out of your mind? We just killed the man. What is it about the bullet to the head and the bullet to the torso that's not going to piss those people off? So pictures are going to bother them? No, what you do is what they did with John Dillinger. Did you get Dillinger? Sure, they had to prove it. But you take away his aura. You show Dillinger with a toe tag on they had him propped up. You show Bin Laden, dead. You show him without an aura. You know what? Thank God they killed him. And from what I'm hearing, they were going to kill him because who knows, Eric Holder might have had the trial in New York City. They didn't want to take a chance on that. They didn't want him at Gitmo. They didn't want him with a bully pulpit. They didn't want him where a lot of liberal media would be kissing his ass and all this other stuff. He's dead Thank God and show the pictures, ladies and gentlemen. Also, Rick Springfield, uh, a dream, if you will. A dream DUI. I don't know how else you could say it. He blows a point one zero. He had four beers, okay? I'm not concerned. I know people, oh, okay, how dare you? It used to be the standard point one zero. George Ryan here in Illinois lowered it to point zero eight. Of course, he had two state troopers driving him around, and he was busy committing crimes in other fashions, if you will. But I'm going to tell you this right now. Rick Springfield in a 1963 Corvette. The guy looks like he's 35 years old, and he's got a, a convertible, and he's driving down the Pacific Highway in 75 degree weather with the wind blowing in his hair. Does it get any better than that? If you're going to get a DUI, get one like Rick Springfield did. You're not messed up. You're driving responsibly. I don't know how he got stopped. He's probably speeding and, and, and some cop is a hero because he arrested a celebrity. Hey, the Bulls lose last night. 
The White Sox win last night. The Cubs basically can't get out of their own way. We'll see what happens with that. My quaddy out arguing again last night. And by the way, the weather today, it's not frightful. It's delightful. So enjoy your day, ladies and gentlemen. This has been the Mike North 5 and a half hour news on the Mike North Entertainment Network on North to North.com. I'm Mike North for the Village of Roosevelt. From the ninth largest convention center to restaurants to theaters, sports venues, and hotels. Five minutes from O'Hare. You got it all here. Rosemont, you can't miss it.